Okay, so we're placing the head unit. This is actually a $9,000 part. So we're placing it for this lady today. Okay, so all it is, it just slots in there like that. There's orange clips. You just got to be carefully pry it open with, with a snake thumb uh, or a door trim remover, however you want to call it. And then uh, there's one plug in here, and then obviously you got your well, looks like uh, eight mil uh, mounting bolts. And then there'll be a whole bunch of connections behind that. So it's pretty simple. Okay, so these are the only bloody seven mils in the uh, in the Jeep. Only the four of them. Sorry, the other two are in the engine bay. And that's about it for the seven mils. So you just got four of them here behind them. Uh, will be a few connections, and then out she comes. Okay, so you can see here we've got all the connections for the head unit. Uh, so we'll just take them out and um, pretty much as simple as that. Now obviously you'll need radio codes and uh, you'll be good to go. Alrighty, so um, when you're installing your head unit in one of these guys, you'll, um, there'll be some, uh, well we had it here but we just took it off so we can, um, for easier purposes in the office. Yeah, but there'll be some model numbers or you'll need a VIN from the old car that it came from if it's second hand or um, model numbers, all that. Um, so you can actually get radio codes to get this actually working in your car. Just plug that back in. It's the only connection there. And then these go back in, and it should just pop straight in, like so. Alright, so like I said, you will need a uh, radio code from Jeep themselves, Jeep Chrysler, um, and that will require the uh, information that I did uh, mention previously. Okay. 